Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be taking a look at the movie Upside starring Kevin Hart and Brian Cranston. Let's get right into the video. Boom. Alright guys, you know how this goes, we always start with the good stuff. Alright, so the biggest question going into this movie is, how are the performances? Are they any good? And my response to that is, they're all good, but they could be better. Brian Cranston is giving a good performance, as he usually does. Now, Kevin Hart is what I've got to talk about. He, his performance in this movie is good. But what's more impressive about his performance is the potential that he shows. He has the potential to take a few years, get his acting right. He could be an Oscar-worthy actor. And that sounds like a crazy statement, because, you yeah, know, he's he started off from comedy and all that. But I do believe that if he takes three more roles in a drama kind of scene we could be seeing an oscar in his mantle within the next five years yeah that is a prediction of mine uh yeah so let's move on to the next thing all right let's move on to the negative side of this review First things first, the pacing in this movie is out of whack. There's no clear pacing, it doesn't follow a specific pace in the movie. And I'm fine with movies having different paces along the movie. It could be slow in some parts and fast in some parts, as long as it does it well. There are parts of this movie that are just straight up boring, particularly the beginning of the first act and towards the end of the second act, towards the middle of the movie, it gets pretty boring, nothing's happening. And that just equates to the fact that the story is non-existent and I'll get to that later. The pacing is just completely out of whack. I mean, it's got like 17 different paces in the course of five minutes. It should really be it should really be edited down and could remove a good 15 minutes from the movie and then in parts and then add two minutes in different parts to make the movie equal all around and really the biggest problem with this movie is the fact that the story is non-existent there is barely a story to tell and on top of that the story arcs lack quite a bit and if you've seen the original movie they completely copy most beats from there but for some reason they remove the story which is weird but they just take the plot which is I, that doesn't make any sense I don't know what they were thinking about that but aside from that the story is non-existent the arcs are absurd third and the movie just doesn't make any sense towards the second act and the third act the beginning is fine towards the middle of the movie just starts losing its sense all right guys all in all i would not recommend this movie don't check it out it's a waste of time but hey those are just my thoughts remember it's all for the record i'm done trying to make y'all comfortable for the record i ain't trying to grow them stuff for you for the record